good morning. First sunrise at sea on this voyage. We had a good evening until about two o'clock. I was getting about five knots, close hauled, but then I got calmed, be calmed for a change. And it's just in the last half an hour, we've sort of got a bit of wind and it's, it's picking up again. Um, I can't go directly to the destination. I'm gonna have to obviously tack and stuff, so. It could be quite a while before I get to where I'm going, which is a surprise. Be calmed for the second time in a day. We've got these rolling swells coming in. And uh, tiny bit of wind from this end which is basically uh, almost stopping us. I've got something maybe one two knots. Oh god I can still see Mallorca. Well in total I did 50 miles in the last 24 hours. I did 40 miles in um, I can't remember how long it was I did 40 miles quite quickly and then be calmed and the sea was pushing me back so I lost some but I see no ships and I'm going in that direction whenever I get there wherever it is what, what's Just under there, it's quite a few of them actually. And then there's some here, but they're quite difficult to catch. Whoop! Because <laughs> they're just playing. I love them so much. I love them so much. There you go, I run out of batteries, so I better stop. For the last six hours, Full sails up, Pete's working jib. I've had the most beautiful sea state. It's swelly, but Carissia just glides over it. I'm close, close hauled, but I'm making five knots. I mean, you know, if you look, if you watched my uh, earlier episodes, I was looking to get two. For some reason, uh, Today and even yesterday, I'm getting four, five, and six knots. Carissia's, I don't know what she's doing. Anyway, so here we go. A beautiful day sailing in the Mediterranean Sea. But of course, as we know, strange things happen at sea. It's cold. It's evening time. Sun's about to set. And um, it's been a lovely day, lovely and warm and sunny. Um, this morning was a bit mad. The weather and the sea and we had becalmed and stuff, but like I said, this afternoon I had about eight hours of, uh, of a beam reach. Seas like this, I'm, I was doing four, five, seven, six knots. I'm down to like three now all calming down a bit. I've only been on board two days and look at the state of me already. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, here's a monstrosity. Oh, Mr. Massive bloody cruise liner. He's been tailing me all day I think he's doing training going round and round and round and round circles and then coming back and then whatever anyway let's have a look 
still got some rollers coming in. Like this one. Ooh, I love these. Ooh, well, it's not a big one. Another sunset, can't really see it, that's okay. And that's where we've been. I forgot how to do a rolling hitch. <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to do the sheet to tiller steering and I, I just forgot how to do a rolling hitch. So I may do. You know, it's been four months since I had my trip, and um, yeah, man, I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> I wasn't so experienced anyway, but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to put the lights on. Um, I'm going to have to steer all night because on a broad reach, it doesn't seem to be working with the sheet to the steering and all this kind of stuff, but never mind, everything's okay, and um, I'm free. At sea.